They were asked to round 282 to the nearest 10, and then also round 282 to the nearest 10,000. And we'll be discussing how to round using both the number line, as well as the formal rules for rounding outlined below. Let's begin by rounding 282 to the nearest 10. So using the number line, if we were to count by tens, we need to recognize that 282 would be between 280 and 290, and 285 would be in the middle. So to round 282 to the nearest 10, we now want to plot 282 on the number line and see if it's closer to 280 or 290. Well, 282 would be approximately here. And because 282 is closer to 280 than it is to 290, 282 rounds down to 280 when rounding to the nearest 10. So this technique of rounding using the number line always works, but there is one special case. If the given number happened to be right in the middle between the two possible rounded values, then we always round up. Now let's also round this using the formal rules for rounding outlined below. So beginning with 282, step one, we find the digit in the rounding place value, which because of rounding to the nearest 10, would be the eight in the tens place value. Step two, we look at the digit to the right of the rounding place value, which in this case is the two in the ones place value, and because two is less than five, we round down, which means a digit in the rounding place value stays the same, all digits to the right become zero. So the eight in the tens place value stays eight, and the two in the ones place value, because it's on the right, becomes zero, giving us 280. Now let's look at the second part of this question, which can be a little tricky using the formal rules for rounding. So let's first round 282 to the nearest 10,000 using the number line. So if we were to count by 10,000s, we need to recognize that the given number of 282 would fall between 0 and 10,000. And again, 5,000 would be in the middle. So now we plot 282 on the number line, which using this scale would be fairly close to 0, let's just say approximately here. And because 282 is closer to zero than it is to 10,000, when rounding to the nearest 10,000, 282 rounds to zero. So again, using the number line, this is still straightforward, but now let's look at the formal rules for rounding to determine how to round 282 to the nearest 10,000. So we begin with 282, and notice how the first step is to find the digit in the rounding place value, which would be the digit in the 10 thousandths place value. Notice how we don't have a 10 thousandths place value. What we could do is add a zero in the thousandths place value and a zero to the 10 thousandths place value. Notice how this number is still 282, and now we can identify the digit in the rounding place value, which is this zero here, again in the 10 thousandths place value. Step two, we look at the digit to the right of the rounding place value, which in this case is the zero in the one thousandths place value. Because zero is less than five, we round down. And again, to round down, the digit in the rounding place value stays the same. So this zero here stays zero. And then the rule says all digits to the right become zero. So we'd have zero followed by zero, 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 zero which of course is just zero. So in this case, the formal rules for rounding are a little bit trickier than using the number line. I hope you found this helpful.